Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can effortlessly make designs like this in just a couple minutes. So, as you can see here, we have our pop socket and we have phone cases as well. Let's take a look at the iPhone case. There's the iPhone case with some pretty flowers. Let's head over to the Galaxy case and there's the preview of that one. And then as a bonus, if you're not an Amazon merch seller, let's say you have an Etsy shop, we actually found an aspect ratio that works perfectly with Printify. So as you can see here, mugs are a great seller on Printify, uh, on Etsy, really any print on demand shop. And like I said, this aspect ratio will create a perfect design like this from top to bottom and wraps all the way around with the exception of the unprintable area in the back here, but those never print. So if you wanna learn how to make mugs like this and then phone cases and pop sockets like this, stick with me, let's jump over to Mid Journey and get started. Here we are in Midjourney, and as you can see, I've been playing around with it, trying to get this perfect. And this is the prompt that I came up with. Colorful flowers isolated on a white background in a tile with an aspect ratio of 293 to 151. And the aspect ratio is the most important part. So that is width by height. So 293 pixels wide, 151 pixels tall. So let's actually just go ahead, copy this. Imagine, and then we're going to do this again, and I'll show you exactly how I do this. As you may have noticed, the phone cases are vertical on Amazon Merch, and they're actually a little bit larger than this. So we will have to do a little bit of upscaling, a little bit of rotation, but you know that'll just take us a minute, if that, to complete those. So let's go ahead and grab one of these when it's done, and we'll get started. So it took Midjourney a minute to get this completed. If you can see the clock there, it took about a minute since I clicked Submit, which actually is kind of long for Midjourney, but let's go ahead and take a look at these. And, okay, I like the bottom right one here the best, I think, or maybe let's go to the top right. Uh, so it fills up the entire mug or the entire phone case. Uh, the one that I showed in the example earlier was more like the one on the bottom right. So we're going to go with number two here. And we're on V5.1 right now, so I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, but as of right now, 5.1. Open this in browser, we're going to save image as, then I'm just going to save it in my mid-journey images folder. And we're going to want to close out of this. Let's go back over to Printify. So here we are on Printify's product catalog. We're just going to go up to catalog. Over here, we want to go to mugs under home and living. And then this one's a bestseller, the Accent Coffee Mug, 11 ounce. Let's go ahead and click on that. And I'm pulling up the Mid Journey Images folder here. All right, so we're going to start designing. And all you do is you drag and drop on there. And it just takes a couple seconds for it to add to the library and get completed here. So then we're going to click Save Product. And as you can see, here it is on the mug. Uh, this takes a second to actually show for some reason right now. Uh, here we go. There it is loaded. There is our mug. Uh, this took, you know, a minute to do. But then let's head over to Amazon Merch. And we're going to go down to our pop sockets. So here is the pop socket. Same exact thing. We are going to upload this flower image here, and then we want to scale it up. So you can select whatever you want in there. Uh, like, I would probably do something like this, maybe try to get a little more color in there. We have blue, we have yellow, we have pink. So there's the pop socket. Here's the preview. And as you can see, iPhone cases and Galaxy cases are vertical. So you would think all you would need to do is right click and then rotate it. But I'll show you the issue with that and how you can fix it. So let's go ahead and drag that in there. And you see it's full size, but it only takes up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and upscale this. I am going to use Gigapixel, which is opening up right now on my other screen. I will bring it over. OK, here we have Gigapixel. And then I'm going to rotate this right again, just because I don't know why. It would have been fine vertical, uh, but I did it anyway. So I have this at three times, and you can do whatever. I think 2.5 would work as well, but I'm just doing three to be safe. So here we have our image, and as you can see down here, it's updating. There it's upscaled. We're just going to save it. That will go back in the same folder. And this one I think I've made a video on before. Just takes a couple seconds. Okay, it's done upscaling. Here's the upscaled version. So then we want to rotate this one. Uh, probably would have been fine to just leave it earlier without rotating, but I did it anyway. And then you can see when you upload it, it's about the same size, but you're only at 38%. So you just want to scale that up. 
And there we go. There we have our phone case. And then you would just do the same thing on the Samsung Galaxy case. Drag and drop. And then once it's uploaded, you would scale it up to whatever size you want. I would do just about the whole fill. Uh, that's taking its time. Okay. And the reason I would do the whole full fill is because then you get the most flowers on there. Um, you know, the flowers are a little enlarged on the iPhone case here because I wasn't as careful. Uh, but on the Galaxy case, I made sure that it just barely fit all of them. So uh, you get more flowers in there. Of course, with the iPhone case, you get more details. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today, how to do this, make these patterns on uh, Midjourney for Amazon Merch, and then Printify or whatever you link your Printify to as well, whether it's eBay, Etsy, you know, Amazon FBA. Uh, here we have it. I hope this video added value. Hope you guys can use this to make more sales. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll see you next time.